Valdo. The notebook you must find is one of Leonardo da Vinci's major works. The manor, where it is surely hidden, is now occupied by a young woman close to the King of France. I have informed her of your visit, telling her that you were a pupil of Francesco Melzi. In fact, this is only a half lie since you really were his pupil. Find out why I accepted this proposal from a man I don't know. Of course, I need the money, but I also need a change of air. To leave Florence and cock a snoop at Francesco, who dismissed me on the spot from his workshop. This way, sir. I'll take you to your room. Madame Babu would have liked to welcome you, but she had to go away. But what really attracts me to set off on this adventure is curiosity. I've always been attracted by what's morally off-limits. Something tells me that it's exactly this ambiguity that makes me the ideal candidate for this investigation. I would have been delighted to have met my host. But all said and done, this delays to my advantage. The road's clear for a short evening visit. I might even be able to find Leonardo's study tonight from the outset. Too dark and everything's cluttered. I'll visit this room tomorrow. However, I'd like to find Leonardo's study. It must be on the first floor. Yeah, must have dropped it. It's really splendid. What a shame that a stone is missing from it. This must be Leonardo's room. It matches the description that Francesco gave me when I still worked at his studio. The study must be near. I've never seen such signs on furniture before. They must have a meaning. The Path of Pleasures. <laughs> it's no use, I've got one already.
I must be close to the study. I have to find a way of getting into it. The sign for fire at the foot of the sacred fire of the House of Dreams. <laughs> Leonardo was a very secretive man. That's what I was looking for, Leonardo's study. This is certainly the place where I'll find a clue as to the whereabouts of the notebook. This celestial globe is magnificent. I knew da Vinci was interested in the stars, but I didn't expect to find such a rare object here. Dear Madame Babu de la Bordesière, I cannot thank you enough for accommodating Valdo Francesco Melzi's talented apprentice. As I've already explained to you in my previous letters, he's come to improve his knowledge of Leonardo da Vinci by studying the machine still at Clue Manor. Francesco's also asked him to find one of the sketches of the Battle of Angahari, which vanished after the master's death. I would be grateful if you could help him, as you know Leonardo's world so well. My kindest regards. No signature. The man who hired me is determined to remain anonymous. <laughs>
What's the point of hiding a clockwork mechanism in this way? Especially since it doesn't seem to work. Unless... Unless it's just the clue I was seeking. Third of April, 1519. I leave all my works to Francesco Melzi. My vines and meagre savings shall be shared amongst my brothers and Sally. But what to do with this codex? Even Francesco wouldn't know how to use it. Perhaps it would be better for it to fall into oblivion. No. One day, someone will know how to put it to good use. I would have liked to have gone on till the end of this adventure. There's still so much to discover. Neither avarice nor negligence held me back. It was just time. <laughs> 